matter what the bondage is, it traces back to someone in that lineage that agreed with Satan concerning a matter. That there was deception that the, and, and the deception brought agreement and that agreement opened the door for familiar spirits. That agreement opened the door for bondage in a family. It all came back down to the mind. But if you continue to agree with it, there is no freedom. I remember asking the Lord, because I, I, I had many people around me who had this notion of, I was born this way. They, they, didn't, they, didn't, they were wrestling with the word of God concerning their sexuality because they said, I was just born this way. And for me, I could see the spirit behind it. But I said, God, give me language. Because how do I explain to this person that a spirit has only found a resting place in you? And he wants to make you his permanent house. He doesn't want to escape this house. So he has come in, in a way that you would agree with him to the point that you don't know where you start or where he ends. And I remember there was a week where the Lord began to teach me particularly about the homosexual spirit. And there were many days that he showed me how this spirit gains access. And one of it, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Well, I see God is about to do something beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. One of the things the Lord began to teach me had to do with the bloodline. And this is so, this is, this is why you have to be so careful with what you expose yourself to. Because he showed me this with visuals. I saw a man, for instance, and the man was watching pornography. The man was not gay. But the pornography he was watching was a homosexual pornography. A man would not think that him watching two women is a problem. For him, it's just, entertainment but what he opens the door is that spirit so the man is struggling with pornography he's not doing it from a place of thinking he has you know a sexual um, a problem or whatever he's watching two women the spirit gains access it doesn't manifest in him but it manifests in his seed so now a child is born, and as early as two years old, their sexual orientation changes. Because the spirit that he invited into his life manifested itself through his child. That's one way. Another way is through trauma, sexual abuse. Because the spirit of lust has both genders. And so when there is some, kind, some form of sexual abuse, whether it's you know, same-sex abuse, it opens the door. That's why there, I've met people that have hated themselves because they felt as though I was abused by the sex that I'm now attracted to. Because the trauma opened the door. Then another way is the principalities over a, over a territory. And when the culture or the government has given those principalities legal rights that we accept this, then it, 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 gains, it becomes easier for people's thoughts to agree with it. That they can cause you to think that you're feeling a certain way and the moment you come in agreement, that spirit gains access. There was a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine who was really struggling with this. And we had been praying together and there was a moment of amazing and incredible breakthrough. He's now married, has a child. And during that moment of breakthrough, that night, it was myself and one of my best friends, and she was over at my place. That night, I had an encounter with the homosexual spirit. And it was mad at me. And it says, how dare you? Who do you think you are? And all along, I see my friend in chains, and they're dragging him in chains. And the Lord says to me, don't listen to them, look at him. And as I was looking at him, a light came and set him free. 
And when I woke up from that dream, I rushed to the room because I had my, my best friend stay in my room. And I rushed to the room. I said, hey, I just had this dream. And she saw the same people in her dream. And then the Lord said, that was the spirit that you had challenged and set, them, and set that man free from. Why am I sharing this? Because you have to recognize that even in the things you identify yourself as, is not you if it's against the will and the standard of God's word. Anything that is outside of the word of God that you have found an identity in, there is deception. There is corruption. And if you stay in that lane, you are only allowing a spirit to make you their slave. The enemy wants no good thing from you. There is a passionate hate he has concerning you. And so all his tactics is to bring you to a place where you can join him in hell. The Bible says that God did not create hell for us. It was created for Lucifer and his angels. And the hate he has concerning you is to get you to a place of pure deception so that you can join him. That I'm not going to be the only one going. You see, as believers, we are in a time that we have to stand on the word of God no matter what comes. 